I'm so excited. I didn't realize launch has their semi-annual sale happening right now. I was just going to record some stuff. Um, I needed some more dry shampoo. So I went to order and, um, because they're dry shampoo restocked today. If you are needing like, like, listen, <sighs> empty, um, okay. all of them empty. Uh, if you need a amazing dry shampoo this is sour revival super dry shampoo by lounge and um you can use the code great hair to save up to 50 percent off uh but their dry shampoo restock today so shout out if you've been needing dry shampoo um so anyways it's such a good one um like have a little bit of the jasmine ray uh dry shampoo I believe it's been discontinued. If it hasn't yet, I also love this one. They're both super dry shampoos, so I don't wash my hair every day. So I'm looking for, this is by Lange as well. So I'm just wanting some extra texture, some extra shine, um, and some extra like body and to kind of absorb the oil. So I have been doing a middle part for a long time now. And every now and then I get this vibe, like this feeling where I'm like, I think I just want to go like really big side part. Like my hair is naturally going that way today. Um, and so that's, you just kind of embrace what your hair is doing. So I'm back. I just did a makeup tutorial um, a few minutes ago and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do a hair video today. I'm going to just record some content that I need to record. But I had no idea that the semi-annual sale was going on. And I was like, I really should hop back on and like let you guys know because this is what happens. They do a semi-annual sale and then their most popular products that are like so, such a good deal, uh, sell out really quickly. And so I was like, I don't want it to be that it's like a day or two from now and you miss out on things that you were wanting. So... All right, we're gonna use the La Duo today. Um, this is a great tool. It's a great beginner tool. It doesn't get hot on like the outside like a curling wand would. It's kind of like a curling iron and a flat iron made a baby. Um, it is titanium, so it's good for hard, oh, excuse me, I've been drinking those, um, what are they? The Ollie Pop, it's a prebiotic botanical plant Plant fiber supports digestive health. Anyways, it's banana cream um, and it only has four grams of sugar, uh, but they kind of make you like burpy. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> um, like out of nowhere. Have you tried them? Um, it just, it's like all of a sudden you're like, cool, where did that come from? Like, but I'm hoping it's because it's like doing something great for my gut. Uh, Okay, here we go. Leduo, um, I 10 out of 10 recommend. It is so simple to use. It has like this little fan that heats up and it will warm your hair like and help your curls to set. Um, it is a great beginner tool. Uh, I have an 11 year old and I don't wanna just give her a flat iron. Um, like, so or a wand or a curling iron. So it's like a great option because I just feel like there's a lot more protective uh, like barrier. I am getting a little bit of a drainage, a little runny nose. Um, so sorry, maybe I should take some Benadryl. Um, okay, the link is in the description of the video and also, I will pin it right here. Comments. There you go. And pinned, so you can shop. Okay, so what I do when I'm using this tool, if I'm in a hurry, I don't separate my hair. If I'm not in a hurry, I do the lower half and the top half. Um, I have calyx up towards the front of my head so I kind of rub over the cowlick and then I rotate towards the back of my hair. It applies the perfect amount of pressure 
everything and I leave about an inch out just like that because I personally like my ends to be a little straighter. What is your favorite product by Lunge? Uh, their hair care deal right now is amazing. Um, if you've never tried glass hair, you I use it when my hair is wet and I'm gonna dry it. It's a heat activated thermal protectant. It makes your hair so smooth and shiny. And uh, speaking of heat protectants, I probably should have used a heat shield right now. Got so excited about the sale. Let that dry for a second. All right. It's a little loud. Okay, I, um, here we go. It's gonna go live on Instagram at the same time, but my phone was dead. Now it's recharged. So I'm like, should I, do I have time? Maybe I should. All right, so I always grab about an inch section and um, I rotate towards the back of my hair, kind of like with the wand um, being a little more horizontal rather than uh, uh, vertical. I haven't really slept much. Um, Beta had a rough night. Lola had a rough night. That's two of my kids, two of the four had rough nights. Uh, one has an ear infection and the baby, I don't know what was wrong with her, but definitely something. Um, so running on about two hours of rest today. Um, Why did I change out of the romper? It was cute. Okay, so the reason I change out of an outfit before I do a separate video is because if I do a makeup tutorial or another type of tutorial first, and then I'm wearing the same outfit, um, if you hopped on later that day, you would be like, oh, I've already seen this video. Whereas if I change my outfit um, and wear a new outfit, then you can tell it's two different videos done that day. That's the only reason. Um, <laughs> there's no like uh, anything crazy to it. It's really just for the fact that like, um, I've just found people don't realize, oh, I thought that was just a replay, but it was a new video. And so that way, if you wanna see me twice in one day, you know, you know where I am. Um, I'm gonna turn this little fan back on. Yeah, it really does. I didn't used to do that, um, but I would do, you know, a couple different videos in a day, and then people would be like, oh, I never saw that. Oh, I thought this was, that was a replay. Oh, I didn't realize that was something different. And I was like, oh man. Um, or I'll be like, oh, I just did this. And people would message me like, how did I miss that? Anyways, I feel like it kind of helps everybody out. Okay, rotating. Just towards the back. This is so easy. You just rotate. Like, so simple. Uh, if you're someone who struggles with, I don't know how to curl my hair with a flat iron, I think this makes it really easy because you don't have to worry about like getting that kink or anything if you go the wrong direction. Because this is round, you just, which am I really going to wear today? <laughs> so what I'm really going to do is I will hop off this and throw on a sweatshirt and a pair of shorts in within five minutes uh and that's what i will really wear uh or i might even go ahead and get back into my pajamas because your mama is tired all 
That's real life for you. Um, but when I have somewhere to go, these are really cute outfits. I do wear them. Um, but normally when I have like places to go and things to do, uh, I have to clean like the kitten litter box and uh, like regular real, real life things that I don't want to wear a fancy dress skirt for, but it is cute. And I like to give options. So I could come on just like wearing that. Like I could come on looking like a bridge troll, but I feel like I like to give options as well as like, I like to be inspiring. I like to inspire, oh, I love that outfit or, oh, I have a crochet top. Maybe I would wear that with this. And I just like to like have things look cute on camera, but yeah, no, mm -mm. I'll like probably record like, Hey, that's what we're up to. That's what's going on or something. Maybe show my outfit of the day, show how cute my hair is after using this tool. And then if you see me like in a story an hour later, you'll be like, she's back to bridge troll. Uh, luckily it's Adam's favorite look, the bridge troll look. Um, it's the, uh, high sock legging, um, I have makeup on, he doesn't care, but it's the, yeah, sweatshirt comfy. I can like have a really cute outfit on. He's like, oh, that's cute. And then I can just have on like this, or your husband's like this. I can just have on this like oversized t-shirt that has like 14 holes in it that I've had since like 11th grade and something else. And he'll come in and he'll be like, Ooh, mm, like that. Like, you're like, what? I only turn the fan on and off while I'm doing lives. If it's just me in here doing my own hair, I don't turn the fan on and off. But it is a great option that the fan can turn on and off for the fact if you're talking and you don't want it going. Um, if you're overstimulated, very easy. I have a child that's very gets overstimulated um, very, very easily. And so it's great that I could turn the fan on like while it's heating up, but I'm not using it. Uh, or if you're like on speakerphone, you need to do something, but you don't want the fan on. But I highly recommend it if you can use the fan because um, it will help your curls like set. If you're just uh, straightening your hair, you don't you don't need it. Um, but if you are going to curl your hair. These blow out warm air and it actually sets your curls. So instead of having to hold a hot curl in your hand, perfect, fantastic little curls. I'm gonna redo this one just cause I, if you go too fast and you notice you have a strip that does this at the end and you're like, eh, what happened? You probably just moved too fast through that section. And so just go a little slower. I am like cleaning the house or, um, we got a new, speaking of litter boxes. So, so we got two kittens and they are really adorable. Um, but we got a new litter box. I actually had it Instacarted to the house from my Sam's order or no, Costco order. And, uh, it's a self cleaning litter box, $30. And I was like, these things are hundreds of dollars. I love a good deal. It's like my favorite thing. And so I was like, yes. So I got three of them. They are not robots. They have like, you build this box and it just has this little, looks like blinds on one side of it. And you tip the litter box over and then tip it again. And um, basically it like is a giant sift. Um, I cannot tell you the level of disappointment. I had thought I had scored the ultimate robot $30 cat litter box. I didn't. And, um, but it did do the job. It did work. So, but I can tell you if you stock up on the semi-annual sale, their stuff is so good. Buy in bulk when it's on sale. Like, that is my philosophy for life. 
Um, the coat is great hair and I will buy when they have the products in stock and they have a deal going. So you can get half off. So that's when I will like get a couple shampoos, a couple conditioners, um, because you just save. Same thing with like meat at the grocery store. Like I like to buy chicken when it's on sale and I will stock up on chicken. Like even if I don't need chicken, this was even like, I used to coupon like crazy. So this is how I would, I had a very tiny, teeny, tiny budget uh, for the family groceries. And so that's how I would save the most amount of money is like, okay, when hamburger meat is on sale, I buy on sale. When eggs are on sale, like, you know, buy and then, um, don't like wait until you actually need it to buy it. And so especially on things you can freeze, but you don't have to freeze hair here. It's not going anywhere. All right, I'm just doing, um, because I'm wanting like more volume for this hair look, I'm spraying my hair kind of in sections. Instead of just waiting until the end. This is the tool I travel with. It's cool to the touch so I can put it in my bag faster. I could curl my hair or straighten my hair with it. It's just a good tool. All right. I really wish my nose wasn't running. I'm so sorry, friends. It's like tickly. So Lola and I, we were painting last night and she was like, so Lola's eight. Uh, they are also all celebrating my half birthday today. If you didn't know, today's my half birthday. I've never celebrated a half birthday before, but this year my creative children decided to start with me. And Adam and the kids went and got me presents for my half birthday. And these geniuses, I'm sure, have something in mind because as soon as they gave me my gift, they were like, on our half birthdays, we have to get gifts too. But they they were very sweet. I've never been so celebrated on a half birthday ever. Uh, woke up this morning, Lola gave me a kiss, said happy half, half birthday. Uh, this year, they've all been trying to figure out when their half birthdays are. Um, so we missed Adam. And they, we had this conversation after, it was right after Lexi's birthday, because Lola was like, well, when's my half birthday? And I'm like, your real birthday is closer than your half birthday. So then we got on the whole thing of whose half birthday is when, and then that was the end of it. And so I didn't know they were really going to like, really be like, okay, here's half birthday, we're celebrating. So in case you're wondering, if you see a celebration later and you're like, whose birthday? my half birthday um which growing up I always wanted to celebrate it because my birthday is January 6th it's right after Christmas and I always was like I would love a summer birthday so I guess if we start doing this half birthday thing uh and what we were gonna do is everybody has to write the person like a, a card and we'll have their favorite dessert and then we all have to go around and tell one good thing we like love about that person. And so that's how we were like, we're not doing parties or anything like not crazy people. Um, but, uh, so it was really cute that they like thought about it. Uh, what's a half birthday? It's like six months after your real birthday. So two of my kids' birthdays are one's five days before Christmas. One day is five after. So we've kind of joked like, Hey, maybe we'll celebrate half birthdays. And so somehow I've gotten a half birthday celebration. But anyways, so we were painting last night. We were talking about the half birthday. And uh, Lola's been counting it down. Like on the 4th of July, she's like two more days until her half birthday. So last night she was like, we're painting. We're having a good time. And um, uh, I love to do like arts and crafts with the kids. Um, I would love to be an artist, but I'm not like good at it. And so maybe one day if I keep trying, I'll get better. And so uh, super fun. So as we're doing it, she's like really emotional. And I'm like, what is wrong? 
And she was like, um, well, at first she was like, I just miss mammal, which my grandmother died uh, when she was six weeks old. And so, have you ever had kids uh, like go through this? So she misses the fact that like, she doesn't have memories with mammal. She doesn't remember mammal. She really misses her. She like wishes and she really misses my papal. And, uh, you know, then she was like, I, and I just don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Like, and I was like, well, you don't have to know like what you want to be right now when you grow up. Like you can figure that out as you get older, you know? And, um, and so she's like, it's just so hard. Cause like, and she's sobbing at this point. She's like, and she's a hundred percent serious. She goes, because if I'm a pop star and I'm like traveling and I'm singing and like dancing and having fun and you die or like somebody dies, then I wasted all of that just for singing and dancing, even though I'm like famous and I make a lot of money and it'd be really fun. But I wouldn't like, I don't want to like, not see and spend time with my family so I just don't know what to do so she's genuinely um really concerned about her pop career uh as a pop singer and so I was like well you know you can pray about it and we can see like if that's like what you want to do and you will get to spend time with your family and uh but you don't have to like figure it out right now and I know that that is like overwhelming to not know what your purpose may be. I struggle with that even as a grown up. So then she went on to, oh, I don't want to be a doctor. She was like, because I don't want to see people's private parts. I was like, well, that's a good reason. And she was like, and I love animals, but I don't want to be a vet because she said she couldn't handle if one of them died. Uh, and, um, so Anyways, we transitioned out of it by talking about half birthdays. Um, and uh, I was like, you could be a teacher. You're a great teacher. She was like, oh, I don't think I want to do that. I was like, okay. And I was like, uh, she was like, I do make good coffees. And I was like, you do make good coffee. She's like, I could work at a coffee shop. I was like, perfect. You could work at a coffee shop. Um, but do you ever feel like that? Like I, sometimes even as a grown up, like when you're like, I just don't know what my purpose is. I just don't know, like, and you're overwhelmed by all these decisions. But the reality is she doesn't have to make the decision of whether or not she's going to be a pop star or a doctor or a teacher. And she may not have even found what she actually loves yet. And even as grown ups, like, we can be that way too. You know, we can get so overwhelmed by these opportunities or options or choices or whatever. And it's like, you know, you may not even found the thing that you are the very best at yet. You could have more than half your life still left to live. Or you may have like your best years may not have even happened. And I just think that's so like being able to see it through a child's eyes of like what she was feeling, what she was going through, you know, you're like, it is all going to be okay. But we do not have to worry today because every day like has its own challenges. Let's not worry about what you're going to do in 10 years. When I was younger, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Um, to be honest, I still think I would have loved that job. Uh, I also wanted to work with dolphins and uh, like SeaWorld. Oh my gosh. Uh, the aquarium, any sort of aquatic animal. Uh, and I live vicariously through that dream now by uh, making all of the people in my life visit aquariums and will be anywhere. And I'll be like, I think they have somewhere we could pet animals. Any sort of animals, it doesn't have to be aquatic. Uh, I am the queen of finding petting zoos and aquatic petting zoos. 
like anywhere you can pet a turtle or a dolphin or swim with a manatee. I don't like sharks, not a big fan of those. A little nervous. All the rest, fear goes out the window. Let me kiss a sea lion. I'll take my chances. Like, thanks for the heads up on the sale. You are welcome. I did not know what was going on. And so I'm like, I don't want anybody to miss out. You love petting zoos? Oh, I love petting zoos. So Natalie and I, we went to Sedona last year and uh, it was just me and her. It was like a girl's trip and we had the best time. And we also did all the things that like we normally could or would not do with our husbands, which was basically like we saw a billboard for a deer farm, like petting zoo deer farm. And we were like, we had no plan. I mean, we were headed to the Grand Canyon, but uh, we we're like, you want to stop? And she was like, yes. And I was like, same. So we like stopped there. Then a few miles, then we did that whole experience. It was amazing. Probably one of the best experiences ever actually. And then um, a few miles down the road after we were done, there was like a place called Barazona. And you could go through a drive through zoo. And I was like, oh, is it too much? Like, do you want to go do it? And she was like, yeah. So basically, Adam Swan can handle about, that's my husband in case you don't know. He can handle about one animal petting experience per travel. That's about it. It's not his thing. I find more joy and he loves me. So he does it, but it's, he can care less. Um, and so Natalie and I, I don't know how many animals we saw on that trip. We did more animal activities than, I mean, it was every day we did an animal activity. It was fantastic. Um, and no regrets. And then we were like, this is just the best thing in the whole world. Uh, so find your people that love what you love. Okay. Do we want to go over further with this or is it good where it is? I don't want my front to look like sparse. So sometimes if I put too much hair on one side, you just kind of have to oh, like correct with it by fluffing up your side that doesn't have as much hair on it. Just give yourself a little more fluff, meaning like some teas and hairspray. In case you're like, what does that mean? Um, okay, so here's an option like this. I'm gonna put more oil in it and I'm gonna show you. The second option I'm gonna Brush through it. I know. Did your heart sink? Were you like, no, don't brush it. But just so you can see the difference. Okay, this is marula oil. It's a hydrating mist. This tool is so easy to curl your hair with. You get the perfect, like perfectly shaped curls. You can start up really close to your head as well. Um, it's just so good. Okay, so brushing through. Like a gentle brush, okay? This is just gonna give you like a wavier look. Kind of more tossed. And you can just run your fingers through it a little more easily. Looks like you have more naturally curly hair. Um, I am gonna put a couple tight curls right here. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so on this section, I just want a curl or two closer to my head. So that it's not like to here before curls start. And I'll show you a full little outfit and everything too before we're finished. If you want details on any of the products that I used, links for the sale, they have their semi-annual sale hop, like if you're just hopping on, Launch has their semi-annual sale happening right now. So,
feel like I did that wrong. We're gonna start fresh. Clamp, rotate towards the back and don't go too slow when you get to the bottom. This one, taking a little section. I know what the problem is. So I have hard to curl, hard to manage hair. I was like, why is this not curling? Um, I need it at 4.30. I have coarse, thick, like super hard to curl hair. So we're gonna wait for this to heat up before I try curling anything else. <laughs> because it just isn't gonna curl. I gotta have it on a high heat for my hair type. Um, that is completely up to you, depending on your hair type, what's gonna work better for your hair. Well, that heats up, I'll show you this full little outfit. Uh, this would also be really cute if you are somebody who likes to wear like a long duster. I think this would be really cute with that. Or like a, I don't have one up here, I thought I did, um, a denim jacket or just this, just, just like this, it has little scallops. Um, kind of gives you like these free people vibes. If you wanted to wear it a little lower and show a little hello, you could, or you could wear it higher and it's a little more conservative. Um, it's pretty natural. That's <laughs> what you can do with maxi skirt in case you didn't know. Um, okay, now all of these are lit up. So that means that it is at my temperature for curling my hair. Welcome to live. Uh, which you can see at a lower setting. All I did was make my hair go limp. Just not the look I was going for. Ta-da! Okay, so now that we are doing that, I'm gonna come in here and I can get very close to my scalp. Do you see that? Like I can actually touch my scalp with this and it doesn't hurt. Um, so I'm wanting my curl to be very close to like the root. It's just gonna add more volume, that's it. Okay, and since we brushed out all the other curls, I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of loosely separate. Okay, so that, just that little extra, like close to the root. One of my other favorite reasons about that tool is you can get so close. Uh, if you're somebody who you suffer from bad cowlicks, another amazing thing about that tool is if your cowlick is right at your so if you need to straighten and your cowlick is right at your head your scalp um this is one of the only things i've ever found that you can like really get in there and get those wonky pieces without it burning you Okay, and I kind of am lifting up in the back section as I'm doing this to give more height. All right, friends. I want to just send my annual self happening now. Use the code great hair. The link is in the description of this video to shop. It's also pinned in the comments. Um, if you do want any other links, just drop the word me below and I'll send them to you directly to your inbox. Hope you have a good day. Bye y'all.